future of the next generation through financial literacy. That is the focus and goal of our next guest. John Hope Bryan is the founder and CEO of Operation Hope, a nonprofit which is launching Banking on Our Future College Edition, which will target students at historically black colleges and universities. Welcome to Fox Business. Thanks for coming on. Uh, what can we teach the next generation so we don't get here again? Well, what we can teach them is that you can have a rainbow after a storm. We live in a $14 trillion economy, but no one seems to realize that 70% of that is consumer driven. So that's you and me buying coffee, paying car notes, uh, leasing cars, uh, making financial transactions, everyday stuff. We don't realize the power we have over our own lives, and there are no mortgage police. There is no auto loan police. I mean, you're going to have to become the, your own police officer in your home, making the most important decisions in your family's life. And at the core of this, this global economic crisis, uh, predatory lending and greed and all that stuff aside, are massive levels of borrower financial illiteracy. When you knew better, you'd do better. But we asked what was the payment, not what was the interest rate, when we bought a home. That's we bought right. a home like we buy a car. And you shouldn't. And so the, the number one, I'm sorry, the number, the number one reason that, uh, that black and brown kids drop out of college, not academics, it's money. And the number two group of bankruptcy filers in America are college students. So it's extremely relevant. You know, and filing for bankruptcy in college, I mean, you're destroying your credit for a long time to come, not setting yourself up on the right foot. I'm glad to hear you make that first point, though, John, because there was no doubt predatory lending and a lot of people didn't understand their interest rates and the changes. But at the same point, yeah. you'd. People did borrow, you know, three, four, five hundred thousand dollars. I mean, even if the interest rate was oh, yeah. tricky and they and they scammed you on oh, yeah. it, you still made the deal yeah. to sign to borrow a couple of hundred grand. Yeah, people were preyed upon, but you become easier prey if you don't understand what it is you're engaging in. I, my, my family lost our own home, and my, my dad lost our home when I was growing up in South Central LA uh, because he was too proud to. Un I mean, a great man, brilliant man, a, a, an entrepreneur and a businessman. But he didn't understand money, and he was pr too proud to, to say, I don't get it. So he asked what was the payment, not what was the interest rate. He signed documents he didn't understand, and we lost our home. And the, in your home is, your, is the number one asset you've got in your family to build wealth. And, and responsible subprime lending has done a lot to lift poor people out of poverty. The problem has been this other stuff that shouldn't be perpetuated. But the, what we've got to do is to empower people with what I call silver rights, from civil rights to silver rights. The ability for you to take care of yourself by giving you the, 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 the knowledge and information like financial literacy empowerment. So these kids at Spelman, I mean, to, to be partnering with, with Dr. Tatum and Spelman in this uh, Banking Our Future College edition is just so inspiring to me because even in the midst of all these troubles, here is hope. Here yeah. are young people who are as excited about education and financial literacy and making smart sexy again as they were about going out to a party or a concert. And that's what we need. We need to make it relevant in, our, in kids' lives. So what so are the, what are the quickly, John, what are the, one or two, and what are the one or two main lessons? Uh, well, you know, basic things like, you know, don't spend more than you make. And when you're in college, you're not making anything other than your, 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 the money your parents are sending you. But the reality is that money is not, math, is not a math equation. That's what we told them last night. It's psychological. It's emotional. It's, 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 it deals with your self-esteem. It deals with culture and values. And, and people who come up in, in, in the African-American community and Latino community and in minority communities don't necessarily get the free enterprise and capitalism orientation experience growing up. That's the blind spot. And that's where they, they, get, they get taken to the cleaners by payday loan lenders, check cashers, and other predators who are waiting for them, and credit card providers. Uh, not, I mean, credit cards are a great thing unless they're abused. So we have to, to tell them they've got to become their own best financial yeah. uh, protector uh, for their future. And, and they get it. I mean, they got it powerfully. And so we partnered with the White House Initiative on HBCUs to go to all 105 uh, HBCUs over the next five years, starting here in Atlanta with Spelman last night. You know, it's a good... Hey, listen, John, I, I was born and raised yeah. as a kid in Gardena. And sometimes I go yeah. back, and they need to bring real companies into these areas, too. And maybe that could be your next mission. You know, well, without jobs, there's no hope at all for anybody. The poor. That's our mission. All right, John Bryant right. with That's Operation right. Hope. Good work. Thank you very much, John. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.